Hello, my name's Jemima Dury and I've recently edited a book called Hello Sausages, The Lyrics of Ian Dury uh, about my dad and in it there are 162 lyrics. That's not all of the lyrics he wrote but those are the ones I chose for this book and I've got some fantastic manuscripts which I found in the process of researching the book because I had to go through a lot of bags and boxes and in fact a whole storage unit to find all the material. And in the bags, I found often first drafts and typed or handwritten manuscripts, which were absolutely beautiful. And it was very exciting when I found a couple which had um, sections of songs I'd never heard before, because often he would work on something and the song would be too long, so he'd have to cut it down, which I think was probably very painful as a writer, but uh, he does talk about it a bit on the CD in the book. And he explains that uh, one of the songs that I've chosen, which is Sweet Jean Vincent's, and I'll show you the manuscript. I can hold that up. This is the original manuscript, which is his typing. He had a typewriter at home, which he used to punch all this out on. And I know from his own uh, description of what happened that he had to cut out some sections because when he and Chaz worked on it, it just went way too long. It would have been sort of 10 minutes of song. So I thought I'd read out the sections which I think are absolutely beautiful and how you would decide what to leave in and what to take out is beyond me. So in the slow bit at the beginning of Sweet Jean Vincent, that used to be double the length. There's another section here which, uh, which he's, he's scored through with the pencils. He's obviously had to cut it, which must have been quite difficult. So I'll read it out. We've got the bit we know, which ends... Sweet Jean Vincent, who, 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 slap John. And then it went on. Skinny white rider, the face that still haunts me is ashen and drawn. How deep were the scars when you rode for the stars and your leather was torn. I miss the long and lonely echo. I miss the mean and hungry hound. Sweet Jean Vincent, moon man down the line. Sweet Jean Vincent, here come the devil doing 99 which is beautiful. And further down, you get the next verse, and then you get the little refrain that we know, black gloves, white frost, black crepe, dead, uh, white lead, white sheet, black night, jet black, dead white. And straight afterwards, the song, as he originally wrote it, went on, sweet Jean Vincent, I'm speaking as I find, the misery stole your rock and roll and left the shell behind. Sweet Jean Vincent, there's one in every town. The devil drives till the hearse arrives and you lay that pistol down. We know those two lines, but then it went on. Sweet Jean Vincent, politely put upon. Real livelihood, real damned, real good. Real sad, real woe be gone. Sweet Jean Vincent, nowhere left to hide. With lazy skin and ashtray eyes and perforated pride. Sweet Jean Vincent, goodbye, goodbye, goodbye. Sweet Jean Vincent, sing low, sing soft, sing high. Absolutely beautiful. And half of that, gone. So the other, the other manuscript that I found, which was, well, which is probably the most expensive piece of paper I've got in my house, uh, is this. And that is probably not the very original draft of Hit Me With Your Rhythm Stick, but it's still an early one because the typing, all the typing is one draft. And then he's written over in green, in blue, bits of red. And it's the writing which has become, which indicates the draft that we know now. That's, you've got to read those handwritten bits to get the final song. So fourth line down, say uh, every woman, every man, as we know it now, used to be say the female to the man. And further down, Hit me slowly, hit me quick, hit me, hit me, hit me. Used to be, kiss me slow and hit me quick. And further down, um, uh, where is it? Oh yeah, it's nice to be a lunatic. That's what we know now. Used to be dancing like a lunatic. And there are a couple of others in there. This, this is in the book as well, so you can have a look at this. I, I think this is an incredible piece of sort of historical document as well, because you get... You get that tight version, you get all the handwritten bits on the top and, and you get some nice coffee stains to sort of show the work in progress. And also, if I hold this over towards the window, you can see 
the light shining through, that's lots of O's. All the letter O's are punched out by his typewriter, which I think is fantastic. A slightly defunct typewriter, maybe. Uh, but that is a work of art in itself. And I'm going to put that back very safely into a folder now. So you can see those in the book and I, I hope you enjoy the rest. Cheers. Bye.